Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about comping or creative comping, how I call it. Something I often use when I work with uh, loops. Um, well, loops have two sides. One, they usually sound quite good if they're well produced. Uh, of course, it depends on the sample pack. On the downside, well, everybody has them and uh, I really like to customize them a little bit and give them my own touch. So, and that's where comping comes in. And I actually want to talk about two things. The first is versioning and the second one is uh, using different loops and then meshing them together into one. Okay, so yeah, mostly I use drum loops or fills or effect loops. So let's search for that. Let's search for fills. Yeah, nice effect loop here. Let's just start with that one and then maximize it. And I think the tempo has been recognized correctly. So, and well, the first way I use uh, comping is basically as a versioning tool, because when I go here, at least since I made the last video, I learned something. I, we have a little plus button here. And when you read down here, it says store content as take, which allows us basically to make backups of our loops in whatever state they currently are. And since I want to go back to the original or want to be able to go back to the original, I just click here on the plus button. And now I can also rename this. Let's name it original. And now I can always go back to the original and I can turn comping off and yeah, go to town with this, this loop. And well, let's uh, come up with something. Maybe I want to change the stretch mode to cyclic, which is actually quite a cool mode. It sounds a little bit retro granular ish. And you can also affect uh, the grain length using the four month. So let's do this and go to pitch and maybe where's the pencil three here. Now let's draw in just a, a, a new kind of pitch curve and let's see how this sounds. Oops, now I don't want you to do something. Yeah, that's probably not the, the best thing, <laughs> but it sounds interesting. And let's just say it's something that I like. So I go back to comping and just hit the plus button again. Now I have saved a different version and I can also rename this again to, well, granular. And now I've saved this, I can go back to the original and maybe this time what I like to do is sometimes also just take a, a little slice and then just map it out over the entire length and then create another comp out of this and then go back to the original and maybe take a different slice. Let's listen to it real quick. Yeah, let's maybe take this one here. And create another comp. And we could continue, right? We can also, uh, forgot to get back to the original. Um, hold five and option and then drag it along. Like this, you can just slice it into the division that you have selected here. Oh, no, that was not the idea. Go back to selection, highlight everything. And now let's, let's reverse the pattern, which will just take the last slice and put it at the beginning and yeah, do that for the entire loop. Whatever, doesn't sound too interesting like this, but might become interesting when we start comping. So now I have uh, a few comps, go back to the original. Now it might become interesting when I mix in uh, a few granulated parts here and there, maybe the beginning. Uh, 
so. Now, well, I, it's pure chaos now, but I think you get the idea. You, of course, still have to invest a little bit of time, and you can also take a normal kind of loop, which is not so freaked out, like a drum and bass loop or kind of uh, uh, a real battery, uh, real drums, and just come up with new versions, new combinations. And now, of course, when, let's say, I like this version here, I can, again, just click on the plus button and everything will be saved. Uh, and also, going back to here and go back to the pitch, you can see that the pitch information for everything related to this granular version of granular take, the pitch information as well as the formant information, basically everything, gain, pan, pitch, formant, as well as the stretching algorithm, everything is preserved. So here I have a cyclic and here I have stretch HD. So yeah, that's, that's quite cool. So you can, yeah, become, you can be very creative with this. And yeah, and once you're done, you can then either decide to consolidate or whatever, remove whatever you don't use, right? You can just hit the cross here and the take vanishes okay now well, that's the the first thing you know using it just on a single loop and get creative with that the second way i use it let's go back to fills and maybe yeah maybe let's start with the m1 again and then switch over to comping and now well we can just search for something else that we like. Yeah, and then drop it in here. And as soon as you drop it, it will just create a new take for you. Yeah, this one is... Oh, why not? Yeah, and then maybe a few from down here. These are more kind of realistic drums. And you can also kind of select a bunch of them and then just drop them in. And then don't hit OK because that will delete everything but the first. So hit cancel. And here we go. Now, first, I think this one is a little bit louder than the rest because I've worked with it before. So let's drag down the volume a little bit, go back to comping. And maybe a little bit more. Comping, create a take. And now we have a backup. Now we can set this one. Okay. And what I like to do is, you know, just go through everything and slice it up into equally long portions just to have a starting point, like eight notes, for example. So because once I've done this, I can now just hover everywhere um, within this matrix here and select different portions and uh, really compose a new version of the loop or out of, out of all of these different loops. I have no idea how this will sound now, but let's, let's see.
Yeah, and again, you know, now I have something that I like, so I just create a copy and call it, well, my comp, for example. And create a few versions here, and then once I'm done, I will then just delete everything that I don't need. And now I have this region, and uh, this is probably my drum fill for a break, and then I create a version 2. Uh, change the color slightly so that I can distinguish them. Yeah, or whenever, when I think I'm happy with one thing, I just, you know, hold shift and drag. Actually, you need to hold drag and then move again to another slot. And now it appears and now I have my bounced and consolidated version of this clip. So let me think, is this all I wanted to talk about? Yeah, and of course you can do the same thing with melodies or, you know, create your own effect sequences, bounce them to audio, bounce a few of them, and then throw them into a comping track and select different parts and bits and, and create your own, create something new out of it. Use the granular modes here, right? Um, pitch, play around with these different modes, pitch stuff around. I specifically like the cyclic retro stretching, especially for effects, because, uh, yeah, if, if you don't mind hearing it, that granular stuff is at work. For drums, I usually use slice, which, because it preserves the attacks. And I think, yeah, that's it for now. I hope you liked it. And so like, subscribe, and see you next time.